Hello and welcome to this in-source training module covering the essentials of Wonderware communications from control systems to Wonderware applications like InTouch and Historian. Each video in the series will help you to understand device integration, communications, and data flow so you'll know how to deploy these applications in your industrial facility. This series of video vignettes will cover topics including the overall Wonderware components, how to connect to PLCs, how to configure in-touch communications, system platform communications, historian communications, how to connect to third-party applications via OPC, and redundant communications. Let's look at the overall Wonderware components. We'll look at the big picture now, and then we'll get to some details in later videos. Wonderware applications are designed to layer on top of an existing plant floor control system like a PLC, a DCS, or other control devices to provide real-time visibility, control, long-term storage, and many other data management functions. In this example, you, the controls engineer, are responsible for delivering several applications to the operations group for a small bottling line consisting of several pieces of equipment, each with its own PLC controller as you see here. As you can see, there are several PLC vendors including the Adam Bradley Control Logics on the Bottle and Scrambler, the filler has an Adam Bradley PLC5, the capper is being controlled by a Siemens S7, the labeler is using a GE9070, the palletizer has a PLC and has also been provided with a Rockwell RSView32 application. In this example, it is assumed all PLCs are using proprietary TCPIP based protocols running on Ethernet. The first step is to establish a communications channel to these PLCs so that your Wonderware applications have a data source. Wonderware provides software modules, historically known as drivers or I.O. servers, and the next generation of these modules are called Data Access or DA servers. These modules reside on a PC or virtual server and act as an interpreter between the PLC and the other Wonderware applications like InTouch as you'll see shortly. Because each PLC communicates via a proprietary protocol, a specific DA server is required for each PLC type on the network. For example, the Control Logics requires the DAS ABCIP DA server. The Siemens S7 requires the DAS SI Direct DA server, and so on. Notice that the palletizer is a little different. The OEM has provided a Rockwell RS View application, which will remain as local control at the palletizer even though Wonderware is acting as the overarching information management system. In order to get RSView data into the Wonderware system, a connection must be established to RSView via the OPC or OLA for Process Control Protocol, which is done with the FS Gateway DA server. It converts the OPC protocol to the SuiteLink protocol from Wonderware, and vice versa for Wonderware applications like InTouch and Historian. Note that all these DA servers can coexist on the same P and a single Wonderware DA server license will enable them all on this PC. We're showing the data access servers on separate PCs here for clarity, but they can coexist with other Wonderware applications on the same PC, especially for smaller systems. Note also that each DA server can manage communications to multiple PLCs in the same family. Once the DA server has been configured with essential data like the TCP IP address of the target PLC, it only establishes a passive connection to the PLC and is requesting only minimal data at this point. The DA server is waiting for a requesting application to ask for data in a specific PLC and then will poll the PLC for this data based on the poll rates configured in the topics. We'll see those later. In a Wonderware environment, the typical applications you will see are InTouch, Wonderware Historian, and Application Server, sometimes referred to as System Platform. These are the requesting applications that are asking for reads or writes of real-time values in the PLC. Each of these applications must be configured to establish communications with each PLC through the DA server. These applications do not inherently know how to communicate to any external device or application and must be configured to do so. For example, InTouch must have at least one configured access name for each DA server in order to establish these communications. The same concepts apply for the standalone historian and application server. Without a properly configured access name, it is impossible for InTouch to communicate with other devices or other applications. The DA servers can manage multiple communication channels simultaneously from multiple requesting applications, creating a powerful, flexible system. 
If you want to reduce risk of single points of failure, you can add a redundant DA server node and configure InTouch to fail over to this backup data source. In the next video, you will learn how to obtain, install, and configure Wonderware DA servers. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.